let's just kind of talk generally about ability to repay and the qualified mortgage concepts. So ability to repay, letter A1, what I would maybe write down underneath letter A1 is it's prudent underwriting. You have to make a reasonable determination prior to loan closing that the borrower, the applicant, has the ability to pay this obligation going forward based on verified income and things like that. The qualified mortgage is, is a concept that's on top of that. You could just do general underwriting based on your policies and procedures and be good. Or you can take advantage of this status that is a qualified mortgage. And what it really boils down to is that if you make a qualified mortgage, and there's different varieties of them that we'll, we'll go through here in just a little bit, you're going to get some form of civil liability protection. In the event that you go to court, you should have a better opportunity to win might just be this much of a better opportunity, but it could be a, a much larger one as well, depending on what you've done with respect to the regulatory guidelines and requirements for the qualified mortgage status and which one that it is in particular. So that's generally 10,000 foot view, what ATR and QM is all about. 